What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more Pokemon Showdown. We are here with our OU segment and we're going to be trying to get some more battles in. Now, um, I know I've been using the same team for a while now, but I just really want to see the progression that this team can get. I'm hoping that I can get to rank 1,600 and something with this squadron. I just need to learn how to play a little bit better with them. And I'm learning gradually that Caracosta, sometimes it's best to hold him off because, you know, the priority can really help. And it's also good to get Stealth Rocks away with Spracket Spin from Blastoise as soon as possible if I can. Anyways, we're, we're going to get straight into this map. Let's look for a game. And I managed to somehow fix the showdown problems that it was having, like the socket error thing. Just disconnect yourself from your wireless antenna and reconnect yourself, and most likely it'll fix the issue. So, right now, I'm looking at the possible leads being his um, Mega Charizard Y. That's definitely going to be a Mega Charizard Y. That's pretty damn obvious. And if it is, then we can go into a Mammoth one and potentially set up our stealth box, but we don't need to allow him to get set up like that. So, you know what? If it's Mega Charizard Y, it's probably going to be the best thing to go into Caracosta, so this way we can hit this guy with like a... We can, we can hit him with something, you know? Yeah, Caracosta seems like he might just be the best lead for that. Anything else that he goes into, Caracosta is not too bothered by it. Now, I'm thinking here, this guy probably is going to try to go for maybe like a taunt, knowing that we might just have the shell smash on us. But if we go for the rock slide off the bat, it'll do a lot of damage either way to this guy. Now, if he goes for the taunt, it's going to stop our shell smash. We don't want that to happen. But if we do Shell Smash and he taunts, then we'll just go for the Rock Slide right after. It won't be too much of a big deal, and we'll be able to live with the Sturdy. Even though we might just need Caracosta. Actually, no, we're not going to need Caracosta for later, because he's got that sweet one out there. I don't like that thing. I don't like that thing one bit. So, you know what? Let's just get some general damage off on this guy. It's going to go straight into Scizor. Okay, that's fine. Um, now, let's go into Embor, and then we'll probably force his switch into his sweet Suicune. And that'll be great, because that means we can hit the sweet Suicune with the... Um, with the wild charge, which would be fine with me. He's gonna go for the bullet punch here. And um, I wanna threaten him out with the fire move now, but if we go into my mammoth swine, he's not really gonna be able to take an attack from Sweeper. But if I manage to get my entry hazards up, he's not gonna have anything to take it down unless maybe he has defog on the sizzle or something like that. Let's go for a wild charge here. It's the safest move right now. Garchomp, okay, so that, that was a good play. That was a very good play, I'll give him that much. But we have an answer for Garchomp here in the form of Whimsicott, and I don't think he's going to want to go for a fire move unless he predicts that far and goes to the fire fang, but even if that's the case, we'll be able to live it. So this is an overall safe play for me. I'm going to go into Whimsicott here, he's going to go for the Earthquake. Now, what should we do here? He's probably going to try to go into his Charizard, perhaps? Perhaps? No, let's go into Mamoswine. We'll be able to threaten this guy out. We'll be able to threaten him out really good. At this point now, I'm guessing he's probably going to go into his Charizard, but if he does have fire, Flamethrower and not Fire Blast, then that'll be great for us. But we do need Mamoswine alive with that priority to help us take out that Garchomp. But then again, we do have Galvantula with hit Power Ice as well, so it's all about what this guy wants to do. Because the HP Ice on Galvantula will be able to take out Garchomp. This goes to a Scizor. We're going to go into Mamo. Will we be able to live a Bullet Punch from Scizor long enough to get up our Stealthies? I don't know. I really don't know if we will. I really don't know if we will. I doubt it. If he's Choice Bandit, we're not going to get that shit. And from the damage that he did to the Mamoswan, he might just be Choice Bandit. He might just be Choice Bandit. Yeah, okay, we're not getting much of an opportunity to play around here. He's probably going to go for the U-turn. Right the U-turn is a possibility, but I don't want to risk this guy going for a bullet punch on the Mamoswan. I'm losing it. I'm not going to get my rocks up at all. That would be and bad news in general, so... You know, let's go into Blastoise. I want to really test to see if this guy's going to be choice. I really want to test that out. Oh, no! He's got Life Orb! Well, okay, this is great. So, I should have probably looked up into the chat and realized that before, but since he's not choice banded... But no, Life Orb is bad, too, because I think with the Life Orb, he'd be able to kill Mamoswine with a bullet punch. Technician Life Orb it does a lot of damage. Right? So, I don't think we can leave Mamoswine in safely on that. At this point now, he might just go for a U-turn. But I'll be faster than him if he decides to go for a U-turn. He might just go into a sweep me now. Which would be bad, but... Um, you know what, let's go for the water spout anyways. Sweet Coon is pretty damn obvious, but... Hmm. Okay, the water spout did a lot of damage there, god damn. Let's go for Mammo now. This might just be our chance to go for our Stealth Rocks here. Which would be so valuable if we manage to get those up. He's gonna go for the Thunderbolts. He might just have Taunt, but... If he goes to the taunt, then it's fine. I can just go for the um, the stealth box after. Great, we got our rocks up. 
that was a really like because you know I know there's some kind of thunderous out there that likes to run around with hammer arm those things are an issue but I'm glad we got up our stealth rocks I feel a lot more comfortable now we have a little bit more he's gonna get punished a little bit more for switching in and out like that now so now let's go for Whimsicott here because we'll be able to take anything this weekend wants to do unless he has the ice beam which will suck but it's not stab and most weekend don't come with any offensive EVs so it's not too bad it's not too big of a deal Let's hit this guy with the Leech Seed. Um, I'm really glad we got up those Stealthies though, because that's going to help a lot with the Charizard. Oh, we missed! Oh, come on! Well, actually, this works out pretty well for us, because now we can go for an Encore and force him to stay in with the Carmines. And now that he has the Encore up, I'm thinking that we have a pretty good opportunity to go into my... Anyway, like Michael Evangel, I hit this something with Thunder. Then again, he does have Garchomp, so... But if we get Garchomp out of the way, we hit everything else neutral with the Thunder, so I'm, I'm liking the idea of that. I'm really liking the idea of that. Yeah, let's go with Galvantula, let's go. I, I feel like this will be a good opportunity for us to hit something really hard. Okay, so now Aegislash. He is an interesting... You know what? I'm feeling like, you know, Emboar might just be the best option here. But he's probably going to King Shield us to death. Which won't be good. Mm. Mm. Or we can go into Carl Or not. If he does, because once we go into Embor, you know the King Shield is going to start coming on and on, and that's, that's not going to be a good one. We, we might just be better off staying in here and going for the Thunders, just to do a lot of damage to this guy. He's going to Sword Dance it up, okay. He's going to Sword Dance it up. This isn't good. This isn't good. We might just use Galvantula here. And Galvantula is kind of valuable. We kind of need that, you know? Um, you know what? This might be a dumb move, but I'm thinking maybe Whimsicott at this point. Maybe Whimsicott at this point. At least he, he might just keep going for the SDs. He might just keep going for the SDs. I hope he gets... I hope he gets greedy and just goes straight for the SDs. That'll really be good if he does. Then again, these are good players here, so I can't just presume that. I just hope he does. He's gonna go straight for the attack form. Okay, we're gonna resist that shit. Very good. But now let's encore him again so he stays on the Sacred Sword. And that way we can help to stall this guy out a little bit. Then again, that is kind of obvious. But you know what? No. Just go for the encore. It's the safest play because we don't need this guy going for an Iron Head. It's the safest damn play we can go for. And we'll be faster. Um, hmm. This is definitely going to be uh, an intense game. This guy's playing really, really good. He's playing safe. I'm playing safe on my own, but I feel like I have a little... Okay, great. We got two Sacred Swords in there. That's fine. We'll be able to wear this guy down now. Let's go for the Leech Seed now just to hit anything that wants to switch in, and things will work out great as long as he doesn't get a critical hit with the Sacred Sword. If he does get a crit, we'll be good. Okay. It's gonna go straight to Suicune now. I'm gonna go for that Leech Seed, get that damage off. Great. We managed to force the Age of Slash out, but that doesn't mean the problem's over. This battle is far from old. We both still got six Pokemon left. It's not going to be... It's not going to be good in here. Definitely not going to be. But thank God we have Encore and Whimsicott. You know, that priority Encore. It works. It comes through in the clutch, man. This battle is far from over, though. I mean, it's slightly in my favor, only because I got the Stealth Rocks up, but that might not even be an issue. We're going to take the Skull really well from the Sweet Cream. Great. We'll be able to wear this thing down. Let's go for a Tailwind, too, just to make sure that we get some kind of speed going on. And we're going to go for this Tailwind. And now... Let's go for the Leaf Seed here, just to, just because. It's going to go for the Bullet Punch. But that's fine because we'll be able to stall them out now because we you know we have the Leech Seed, we have the, um, the the Life Orb damage from the Bullet Punches. Let's go for another sub. He's not going to really be able to do much here. Oh, he's going to go for the Default! Uh-oh, this ain't good. This isn't good. This is not good. Um, let's go for another Leech Seed. The Defog is bad news, man, because that means that now his Charizard is going to be able to come in really safe. He no longer has that residual damage. we got to get them rocks up as soon as possible. But if we get Scizor killed... Okay, so Zoro is going to go down now. So I guess he figured that was a good enough sacrifice to make there. Okay, but at least Zoro is down, which means that he pretty much lost half of his priority because 
The only priority he has now is the um, Shadow Sneak from the Age of Slash, which is still you know, a massive problem to deal with. So I'm I'm not comfortable at all. This game is still it's still in the air. It's still in the air. But okay, so now. Damn man, Charizard, I don't know what we can do here. What can we really do, you know? It's gonna be a Charizard Y, that's pretty damn obvious, you know? It's gonna be pretty damn obvious that's gonna be Y. You know what, let's just set up with the substitute. And, um... Okay, he's got Flamethrower. Which is slightly better than having the freaking on Fire Blast. The Air Slash, no one wants to come in. No one wants to come in like this. Not a single person. The only way I can see this working out is if we give Caracosta to him. But that's not gonna be a good move. We do have Embor, who would be faster than Age of Slash if he does decide to go for like a, a attacking move. But if Age of Slash goes for the Shadow Sneak before Embor goes for the Sucker Punch, I'll only be hitting him in defense form. The Sucker Punch won't kill him. I'm feeling like Embor is not really too valuable anymore. So you know what? We're gonna go in there with Embor. And we're gonna let this guy take us out. It's the only option. What is a cut is way too important at this point. But this stops the setup cold, so you know what? It's way too important. Um, we're gonna stay in there with Embor. Let's just go for the sucker punch. Oh, okay, he switches out. Okay, that's fine. That's fine and dandy. That makes my life a lot, a lot more manageable. Let's see here. I don't know if he has a fire move or not. I don't know if he has a fire move. Let's go for one of the cuts. Let's gonna go for the earthquake. That's fine. Let's go for that leaf. You know, that was the safest move. I don't know why he switched out on Embor. He could have just killed me with the Air Slash, because I know these things carry that shit, but... Um, he decided to stay in, which is fine. Okay, he's gonna go back into Charizard. Please don't miss the Leaf Seed. Got the Leaf Seed. Excellent. The Sun is gone now, so Charizard doesn't have the Sun boosting his moves. This works out really cool for us, so now let's go for a sub, and let's stall this bitch out! <laughs> yes, yes, stall him! Stall him, where's the guy? Yes, do your job. Do your damn job. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Um, we're gonna sub up again. Uh, man, if he had Fire Blast, maybe that would have been preferable because he would have been having a chance to miss that shit. But you know what? It's all fine and dandy. It's, it's, it's all fine and dandy. Um, gonna go for... This sucks. <laughs> he said this sucks in the chat. <laughs> oh, man. This is, this is laughable. <laughs> okay, he's gonna go for Guard Chisel now. Um, now we have a pretty cool chance to go for a, a loot seed on this guy, so let's go for it, you know? The fact that Scizor is out, one of the Whimsicott's really main threats is gone. Okay, he had the Fire Fang the whole time? The entire time he had the Fire Fang? A little bit strange that he didn't decide to opt for using that earlier. He, he had a chance to get, take me out, I think. Oh, he probably wanted to save it as a secret. You know? He probably wanted to save that shit. Because I don't think he had a chance to use Fire Fang on me, unless it was through a sub. And he probably didn't want to fire fang my sub, knowing that I would have he would have the fire fang. This is a long battle, by the way. Holy shit! Um, let's go for a substitute again. It would be great if we can get entry hazards up, but he's just gonna get free switches all over the place. He's gonna get free switches here and there, everywhere. So let's go for the leaf seed now. Wow, Whimsicott is really doing work to his team right now. He's gonna go for the shadow sneak, but it's not going to KO me, of course, because you know, obviously, I can take this. Um, Let's go for the Tailwind here, just to raise our speed in case we do get threatened out. Okay. We're really wearing his team down. We're wearing them down really well. This is going to help probably when it comes to Caracosta being in there. Um, let's go for the sub again. And he doesn't want to come in there with Sweet and start setting up. This is going to make this game really, really long. But you know what? I'm willing to go through it because right now, nobody wants to switch in safely. All of the Pokemon that he has on his team are dealing a lot of damage. Mega Charizard Y, a lot of damage. Age of Slash, a ton of damage. Garchomp, a ton of damage. Thunderous, I don't know exactly what kind of set it is, but it does have Thunderbolt, a ton of damage. The only thing I could see something possibly coming in safe on is the Suicune. But he's not switching the Suicune in, obviously, because of Whimsicott, so... Yeah, this is, this is going to be a long game. This is going to be a long game. We are going to probably have to make some really interesting plays if you want to do some damage here. Um, let's go for another Leaf Seed. I'm just waiting for the chance to get my, my Garchomp, I mean my, um, my Mamoswine in. And I'm waiting for that chance so I can therefore set up my Stealth Rocks. But nothing wants to come in. Mamoswine's weak to Charizard X, to the Aegis Slash. Not the Thunders, so not the... Um, 
Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Um, the Tailwind might just be the best option. Let's go for another Leaf Seed. Probably gonna switch out. This is a fucked up way to play. <laughs> but hey, man, I'm willing, I'm more than willing to go through with it. And these Pokemon have no form of recovery here. No form whatsoever, so this works out. Let's go for this Tailwind. Um, it's gonna go in there with Suicune. Oh, this is great! This means that now that the sun is up, we'll be able to go in there at Mammoth Swine and get up our stealthies, which will be great because that'll mean that this guy's going to get punished for switching in and out all the time. So now this is good, this is good, this is good. I'm loving it. If we go for a nice shard, he's not going to like that. It's going to be the safest play to go for, though. It's going to be the absolute safest play to go for. Let's go for the ice shard. Alright, but because of the sun, I'm going to take whatever this guy wants to do. If he goes for a Scald, it's fine. I can take that shit. Go for the Stealthies. This will be good. Because now, he's not going to be able to switch in and out. The only reason why this game is going on so long is the fact that I lost them Stealth Rocks before. But if we manage to get those Stealth Rocks up, his switching is going to be real limited. And that'll be great because of the Leech Seed and then the Stealth Rocks. That'll be great in that case. The Scizor was pretty much the only thing that could check Whimsicott badly. But because his was gone now, oh, of course he gets the burn. But it's fine. I've been stalling this whole game. It's understandable. But we got our rocks, so you know what? This is all. It's all good. It's all good. Um, he said good game already. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I just don't understand the mentality of people that come here. Like you know, the game is far from over, man. You know, like we we definitely. I mean, I don't know who's going to win this. It's kind of tough to tell at the moment. But the game is far from over, dude. No one's, no one's won or no, one, no one's won or lost in stone yet, you know. But whatever. Um, let's just get our lead seat up. Now that we have those rocks, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable in there. This is a long video, 17 minutes, goddamn. But hey, man, it gets this serious when it comes to these high rank battles, you know. I mean, right now we're at rank 15, 30 something. So we're we're on the we we are now entering that realm where people start playing really good. So. We gotta do what we gotta do. Whimsicott's doing a lot of work here. We, we gotta do what we gotta do. If he has Ice Beam, I'll be fucking screwed, but it's not Stab, so I can possibly stall him out still with that. Um, but yeah, now that we got the Stealth Rocks and Whimsicott's in there, his switching is going to be limited, and it's great. I don't think he has a defogger, so he forfeited. Great, okay, this worked out. So, you know, it was somewhat of a questionable way to win, but this guy obviously got fed up, which is great. Our ranking now is um, 1538, so it was 1514 before, so that's fine. Um, that was a cool battle, man. It was very long and stally, but um, yeah, it works out. 